We now shifting our focus to some other breaking developments coming in and this is as far as the caste survey that has happened in Bihar. The politics only continues to erupt and this is an important reaction that's coming in. Till now the voices that were coming in from the INDA alliance, the opposition bloc was supporting the move of the Bihar government but now there is a reaction that's coming in from the Congress where you in fact have Congress's Abhishek Manu Singhvi who in fact has opposed this entire move. He's taken to social media, the platform X, and this is what he's gone on to say. I'm going to quote, equality of opportunity is never the same as equality of outcomes. People endorsing this entire process have to first completely understand the consequences of it. It will eventually culminate the majoritism. So that's the first voice that's coming in that's taken a different view within the Congress party that is of Abhishek Manu Singhvi who in fact has gone on to oppose this entire exercise of caste census. As we pointed out that this is interesting because still now the reactions that we've been getting in since yesterday or even early morning all within the opposition bloc were in fact lauding the move of the Bihar government. Many within the Congress who we spoke to earlier in the day in fact were saying now other states should follow suit as well. Let's also now bring in our colleague and senior editor Pallavi Ghosh who is joining us on the broadcast. Pallavi, this is going to give photo to the BJP once again because the BJP since yesterday from the Prime Minister himself has been saying this is just to move by the opposition to try and divide the country. Now you have voices within the Congress who are opposing this move. It's again going to raise a question mark as far as the opposition's own position is concerned. Absolutely, Ridhima, he is one of the first voices to kind of uh, speak out and uh, give a voice to a sense of discomfort within the Congress party. One can understand politically speaking, I would say electorally speaking, why the Congress party is pitching for a caste census and reservation for the OBCs and the SCST. Because if you go by what has happened in Bihar, it's at least 84%, a staggering number of SC plus ST plus OBC. So I think that has given greed to the Congress party that if we apply the same form elsewhere, it certainly could help us notch up numbers for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. But this is going to be at the cost of, say, the upper caste within the Congress party, because the Congress has also looked itself as a party which is progressive, which doesn't believe to go and push for a massive reservation, because how do you explain the fact that there may be economically backward people who may belong to the upper caste who are more deserving of that special opportunity? I think the Prime Minister has tapped that narrative when he says the worst caste really is that of Garibi. So when he's going to make the basis of reservation for the economically weaker, I think within the Congress party, there are going to be certain sentiments who really want to speak out against a big push which the Congress and Rahul Gandhi is making for the caste census plus reservation within reservation. Pallavi, you know, since morning, you've also been reporting many sources within the Congress, in fact, were indicating to us that seeing the success or seeing the kind of numbers that have come out from Bihar's exercise, Congress possibly would want to push this in their poll narrative for 2024 as well. But if we continue to see the voices that we are seeing with the likes of Abhishek Manu Singhvi, where does it leave the Congress's own position? Well, I, I don't see this as a big surprise that the Trinamool Congress so far doesn't really want to make it stand clear. They would rather wait for the next meeting of the India Front Alliance because they do understand the pitfalls of pushing in for this caste census and a reservation based on it. Uh, look, as far as the calculation of statistics go, what has the BJP's vote bank traditionally been? It's been the upper caste plus the lower OBCs. The Prime Minister himself is an OBC, so the BJP will always get away with his argument that the topmost position in the government is actually given to a person who himself belongs to a backward community. So therefore, the BJP cannot be accused of being a party for the privileged and the entitled. Now, the Congress knows it will not get the upper caste vote largely and therefore it wants to tap in on the rest of the vote. Whether it's going to work for them, I mean, remember the last time around the Mandal Commission recommendations were implemented, we saw a huge uproar and that really did backfire eventually, which is why the Congress party tried to steer clear of this debate. Rahul Gandhi has reignited this narrative and there are voices within the Congress party who are being very cautious and Abhishek Manu Singhvi of course is more vocal than the rest of them.
Pallavi, we'll just request you to stay on with us as you were rightly pointing out some very important figures that in fact have come out of this exercise that has been carried out by the Bihar government. So let's break down those numbers for the benefit of our viewers and also we'll break down what we are seeing in terms of the reactions that are coming in from the opposition parties. Let's first begin with what Congress sources are telling us here at CNN News 18. This is what Pallavi was referring to as well. The caste survey becomes a big boost as far as the Congress in Bihar is concerned. They see this as a big opportunity. Opportunity. Congress sources also telling us that the Congress in fact is planning to include it in their manifesto going forward come 2024. Congress sources also telling us the Congress will try and push for an OBC SCST reservation as well to try and push for an upliftment of the underprivileged. Congress sources also telling us Congress and the allies to make it a part of the poll issue as well. But when you have voices like of Abhishek Manu Singhvi, that is going to become a lot of fodder as far as the BJP is concerned. Now let's break down the overview in terms of the big numbers that are emerging as part of this exercise. The total population is upwards of 13 crores. 13 crores, 7 lakhs, 25,000. 310. Let's give you a breakup. The backward class is at 27.12%. Unreserved is 15.52. Extremely backward class 36.01. Scheduled cast 19.65. Scheduled tribe 1.68. This unreserved, in fact, is the general category, which is just short of 16%. Now, these numbers become a big fulcrum as far as the political debate is concerned. The opposition now seeing an opportunity, seeing that this can be implemented in other states as well. The BJP is saying this is just the opposition trying to divide the country. Some other reactions also coming in. After Bihar released its caste survey, caste census, Pressure is mounting in Karnataka on the Backward Class Commission to release its socio-economic survey which also has a caste element in the entire uh, survey that took place. It started way back in 2015. I have Mr. Jayaprakash Hegde who is heading uh, the commission. Sir, the survey is done. By when can you submit this report to the government because there are expectations after the Bihar development. Uh, this is not caste census. This yeah. is called uh, social and educational uh, survey. Yeah. So, not just the uh, two factors uh, are there in the report. Total uh, information about the family is there. Uh, what are they doing? How many members are there in the family? Uh, what uh, occupation? Everything is... Uh, so, this is much more than what is there in probably we are uh, caste census. This is uh, uh, pioneered by Karnataka only. See, Karnataka is a pioneer.